You may have never heard of this formidable fighter jet before, the JAS-39 Gripen. What if I told you this Swedish jet is actually better than the F-16? Its characteristics and capabilities match the F-16 or are even better. If that still doesn't convince you, we're going to see what the Gripen was able to do against 5 F-16s. But first, we need to cover the development, its abundant capabilities, and its service record. So let's begin. In the 1970s, the Swedish Air Force operated a mixture of Saab-produced aircraft, the J-35 Draken and the JA-37 Viggen. These were advanced and unique designs, tailored for Swedish defense needs, but they were also aging. With the geopolitical scenario in Europe, especially with the Cold War, it was essential for Sweden to possess a modern multi-role combat aircraft that could perform air defense, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, studies for a successor to the Viggen were undertaken. By 1982, the Swedish government announced the start of the JAS project. The JAS-39 Gripen took its maiden flight on the 9th of December, 1988. This prototype flight lasted for about 51 minutes. It marked a significant milestone for the program and paved the way for further testing and refinements before the aircraft entered operational service. As with many cutting-edge designs, the Gripen's development phase had its challenges. Two prototypes crashed during the testing phase. The first crash in 1987 was due to pilot-induced oscillation, and the second one during an air show in 1989. It was attributed to the flight control software. These setbacks, however, led to significant improvements in the design and its systems. The Gripen's Delta Wing and Canard configuration gave it exceptional agility. The aircraft is very maneuverable, allowing it to handle close combat situations effectively. To go with the Gripen's design, it featured a digital fly-by-wire system that provides excellent handling qualities and enhances the aircraft's agility and safety. Along with the exceptional maneuverability, the Gripen was designed to operate from short airstrips and even highways, which was crucial for Sweden's Cold War era dispersed basing strategy. The aircraft has an integrated avionics system that enables multi-sensor data fusion, allowing the pilot to have a comprehensive view of the battle space. The PS-05A radar is central to this avionics suite. The Gripen also possesses advanced electronic warfare and countermeasure systems, offering capabilities for both self-protection and electronic attack. One of the standout features of the Gripen is its ease of maintenance and rapid turnaround time. The aircraft was designed to be serviced and turned around quickly, with tests showing that it could be refueled and rearmed in under 10 minutes by a minimal ground crew. The Gripen's flexible weapon capabilities allow it to carry a combination of air-to-air, air-to-ground, and anti-ship missiles, as well as precision-guided munitions. The JAS-39's primary weapon is the Mauser BK-27 27mm cannon, a revolver gun with a high rate of fire. For air-to-air, -air, the Gripen is able to carry missiles such as the AIM-9, AIM-120, the Meteor, and the IRIST. For air-to-ground missions, the Gripen is able to carry a wide variety of air-to-surface missiles and bombs, such as the AGM-65 Maverick air-to-ground missile, the KEPD-350 Taurus standoff cruise missile designed for precision strikes against hardened targets, and the RBS-15 anti-ship and landlock missile. The bombs it can carry include general purpose bombs, the Paveway series of laser-guided bombs, the GBU-39, and the BK-90 cluster bomb. 
Along with lethal weapons, the Gripen carries reconnaissance pods, electronic warfare pods, and targeting pods. This enhances the aircraft's capabilities in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance roles and ground attack missions. The Swedish Air Force, which was the primary driver behind the Gripen's development, inducted the JAS-39A into service in 1997. The Swedish Air Force later transitioned to the upgraded JAS-39C and D variants. Currently, they have also operated the latest JAS-39E and F variants. Rippins from Sweden have participated in a number of international exercises, often showcasing their interoperability with NATO assets, even though Sweden isn't a NATO member. To show you how impressive the Gripen is, one Gripen pilot knocked down five modern F-16s during close air combat during a red flag mission in Alaska, and the Gripens never lost any aerial encounter or failed their mission objectives. It was also the only fighter that performed all planned starts while others were sitting on the ground waiting for the weather to clear up. The aircraft has also been employed in overseas missions, such as Iceland's air patrolling duties. Sweden is not the only country that operates the JAS-39. The Czech Republic, Hungary, South Africa, Thailand, and Brazil, in which their acquisition includes a significant technology transfer and collaboration component. The deal facilitates localized production and has led to extensive cooperation between Saab and Brazilian defense industries. Countries like the United Kingdom have operated a few Gripens, but primarily for test and evaluation purposes especially for the Meteor missile. Though the Gripen had a few incidents during its early developmental phase, it has since achieved a commendable safety record. Those initial setbacks were meticulously addressed, refining the aircraft's safety systems. In conclusion, the Gripen, as a fourth-generation multi-role fighter, has proven itself in both terms of performance and adaptability. Its service record is a testament to its robust design, and its adoption by several countries highlights its global appeal. The Gripen exemplifies Sweden's determination and capability to produce a world-class fighter that can hold its own against bigger players in the field. Over the years, with continuous upgrades and refinements, the Gripen has solidified its position as one of the leading fourth-generation fighter aircraft in the world.